Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of the Genesis Money Fit series. Today we are viewing the basics of credit, like what is credit, what factors make up a credit score, and how to build good credit. Let's start by discussing the basics of credit. Credit is the ability to borrow money and access goods or services with the understanding that you will pay later. Lenders, merchants, and service providers grant credit based on the confidence that you can be trusted to pay back what you borrow, along with any finance charges that may apply. So what factors make up a good credit score? Most people believe if they make all their credit card and car loan payments on time, they can expect their credit score to be great. However, focusing on the payment history alone will not give you a complete breakdown of what actually goes into your credit score. There are numerous factors involved in determining a single credit score, including payment history, amount owed, length of established credit, types of credit, and new credit. But why is a good score important? Good credit is necessary if you plan to borrow money for major purchases, such as a car. A higher credit score can mean better interest rates and terms on loans and credit cards. It's important to note that lenders aren't the only ones who concern themselves with your credit reports and credit scores. Landlords may check your credit when deciding if they'll rent you an apartment or determining how large a security deposit to require. Insurance companies may use your score as factors in determining your rates. And prospective employers may use information found in credit reports to make a hiring decision. We want you to understand that a good credit score matters in very real ways. The following example will help illustrate the differences your credit score makes when paying for loans. Meet Amy, Barry, and Chris. Amy has excellent credit. Barry has fair credit. And Chris, well, Chris has poor credit. Let's say that each finance the same car for $26,500. Amy pays $5,300 for her car. Barry pays $5,800 and Chris has to pay $6,300 a year to drive around. Each of them have the same driving record. Amy gets her insurance for $1,240 a year. Barry pays $1,700 a year, and Chris has to pay $2,160. Each carries a $3,000 credit card balance. Every year, Amy pays $327 in interest. Barry pays $594, and Chris pays $649. So in a year, Amy saves about $4,242. Amy can buy lunch every day. Barry saves $2,515. He can buy four new video games a month. Don't let the first warning of your credit be a giant bill. The team at Genesis Credit Union is available to help you build your financial future today. Now that we know the basics of credit and how your credit score can impact future loans, let's see how we can build good credit. Start with a credit card limit between $500 and $1,000, so it's easy to manage. Take into consideration the tips that we've already learned on how to use your credit card responsibly, and you'll be on your way to building a solid credit score. Also, consider a credit starter loan to help you build your credit if you have no credit history. When it's time for your first auto loan, you will have proven that you are a responsible borrower. This will help ensure you receive the best rates available. A Genesis starter loan is offered to 18 to 21 year olds with no credit history and includes a maximum loan amount and term. Not only should you make sure you are making payments on time, but you should also be aware of the factors that are impacting your credit score. Obtain your free credit report at www.annualcreditreport.com to review the history and correct any mistakes. Now that you're familiar with credit, what steps will you take to improve the score and begin building your credit? You can view this video and all past videos on the Genesis website. See you next time.